Hey guys, it's Lucas Sharp here, back again with another little video for you guys on my Lucas Sharp 2 channel. Uh, just letting you know, I just I was bored and I didn't know what video to make, so on this channel, so I just decided to make a little vlog and show you guys my all my video game consoles that I own. I own quite a few, actually. And uh, I mean, hold on. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you all my video game consoles. I'm just gonna show you from like oldest to newest though some i've gotten some of the newest ones i got before the oldest ones if that makes any sense uh but yeah i'll, I'll be showing you all of my video game consoles that i own so yeah i guess we'll start off with this one right here the nintendo entertainment system nes for short Everybody knows what this is. It's a classic. You just pop it, pop in a game, like, like this. Just if I can get it out. Yeah, it's a little cartridge. You just pop it in. I mean, everybody should know how this works, unless you never owned an NES. But everybody should know how this works. You just pop in a game, and then you just put push the power button on. But of course, the NES ain't, it ain't on right now. It's not even plugged up. So, yeah, this is just a retro console that everybody knows. This is Nintendo's first ever video game console, I do believe. And of course, this is the game where they had their fir the first ever Mario game, where it had the two d first ever like two bit Mario. So, uh, yeah, a lot of uh, good memories on this. My dad grew up playing these kind of systems and you couldn't really play them on your uh, or they didn't they, of course flat screen TV, TVs they didn't exist back in the day that they had those little box TVs so uh yeah you had to play on those but uh yeah this was not the first console that I have owned though uh although Although, of course, this is definitely the, the oldest one I have. But, of course, I don't really play on it anymore because one, one of the consoles that I'm going to show you later down the road, which is my newest one, has, the, has a thing where you, if you buy their online thing, you can uh, play these old NES games. You can actually play a bunch of NES games on there. You can play Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, the old Mario. You can play a bunch of NES games on there. They also have Super Nintendo games on there, and they have Nintendo 64 games on there. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. And, uh, yeah, I guess we could just move on to the next console. Uh, the next console, what is this DS? This blue DS, it don't really work anymore. It's old, and it's just scratched up. It's just banged up. Poor little guy. I haven't played on it forever. I haven't played on it forever. And this is my sister's DS. She don't really play on it anymore either. <laughs> the DS pin came out. But yeah, she don't really play on this e anymore either. I don't really play on this anymore either. But uh, me and my sister, we usually play all the time on these things. And it was just so much fun. J just so much fun. But of course, after... Like this one broke, my mom and dad bought me a new and better DS, which is this one right here, the DSi, where, I mean, it still works, it actually still works, and I don't really play on it anymore, but my little brother does, he, he likes playing Pokemon on here. Uh, see, here we go, just see, he has Pokemon in there right now, and just have a few games on there, I have a Legend of Zelda game right there. And, uh, yeah, just power that get thing off. But, yeah, it's definitely bigger than this, the blue one, and it's definitely better. And you can actually go on the internet on here. Well, you used to. I don't, you can't really do that anymore. I'm pretty sure Nintendo shut it down. They shut down the eShop on here, too. So, uh, yeah, fun while it lasted. I don't really play on it anymore, but... I mean, sometimes from like maybe five months, every five months or so, I go back and play on it sometimes. And uh, yeah, but this is the second console that I've, that I've ever owned. 
And then moving on to this, the Wii. This is the first step. Interesting story about the Wii. Uh, the Wii, this red Wii, was our first ever Wii. We had two. What happened is that my, my little brother, uh, he, he, I mean, he wasn't very old at the time. He was like about maybe six, five years old at the time. He decided to take this little wooden circle thing from like this Lowe's build and stick it in here. And we and we couldn't and we couldn't stick in our games. We couldn't stick our games in here. We thought that the Wii was broke. We thought that it was broke, and my parents thought it was broke too. What my parents did is they bought us a new Wii for Christmas one year. They bought us a new Wii. But guess what? A few days before Christmas, that we found out that our little brother stuck a little wooden piece in here. Me and my, Caitlin, my sister did. She found out. She was like, oh, this is what has been stopping up the games from going in. And then my parents were very concerned. They was like, did we just wait? They were thinking to themselves, did we just waste some money? And they were like, what do we... They, they was probably thinking to themselves, what do we do? Do we just give this Wii back to the store? Or do we give it to somebody? I, I don't know what to do. So, uh, what they did is they, they just let us keep it. We, we didn't, and when we found out on Christmas that we got another Wii, we was like, we was very surprised. We was like, another Wii? But we already have a Wii. And they was like, yeah, but we thought yours was broke, so we just got you another Wii. So, uh, yeah, but this is the, this is not an ordinary Wii. This is a Gen 1 Wii. Uh, it legit has... Game Boy controller pods in here. They can hook up your Game Boy controller and little Game, Co Game Boy uh, memory card slots, which is pretty interesting. That because you can actually play Game Boy games on here, which I wish I would have known because I would have actually liked to play some Game Boy games. I, like I wouldn't have mind playing the first ever Luigi's Mansion game on this. I wouldn't have minded. I would have minded. That ain't even a word. But you you get what I say. I'm saying. I would have I would have played. There was some good games on the GameCube. The GameCube was a pretty nice console. I've never played a game on the GameCube, but I've heard some people saying that it was a really really nice console. And and yeah, I wish it would have been nice. I could have actually owned some Game Boy games and and played on them without actually buying. I mean. I mean, not Game Boy, GameCube. Uh, it would have been nice to play some GameCube games on here without actually buying a GameCube. Uh, let's just move on to the next one. The next one is one of the latest ones. Well, we bought it like... I wouldn't... I would probably say about... Maybe... Six, five years ago, we bought this thing, the Xbox 360. Yeah, the Xbox 360. I still play on it. Uh, just to play NCAA football, though. I still play on it. I mean, it still works. It's in fine condition. I actually bought this with my own money instead of my parents actually buying all those. I actually bought this with my own money. Which I could I find that a really really nice accomplishment. And I, and I and I'm actually kind of proud of myself for that, cause I saved up so much money from birthdays and Christmases to get this thing. And that's just and that's just proves I mean kids if you save up, if you save up and work hard you can. Uh, get whatever you want to, just, just, I mean, just save up your money, and you'll, you'll be able to get what you want, and buy it for yourself, and, uh, that's what I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna try to save up and buy a car, so, uh, yeah, that's gonna be a pretty, that's a pretty, but that's a pretty big goal of mine, I wanna try to buy my own car, and I wanna try to buy my own house, maybe one day I'll be able to do it, 
But right now, uh, I, I'm far from doing that. I'm not even close to having enough money to buying a car or house. But, uh, yeah. Here's our next console. It's the Xbox One. I bought this off of my uncle. My uncle, he wanted to sell me this for about, like, a hundred, two hundred, a hundred and fifty dollars, and I and I was like, "How about I'll give you a hundred dollars for it?" And I'm guessing since I was his nephew, I was his favorite nephew, by the way. He let me get a discount, <laughs> but uh, yeah, sh uh, yeah. Shout out to my uncle, love you, and uh, yeah, and also some controllers is broken in the past. I, I got this controller with the Tennessee Titans stickers on it. So, yeah, that's nice. But, yeah, I'm, I don't really play on this anymore that much, to be honest. I mean, I, uh, sometimes. Sometimes. But my little brother, he plays on this thing a lot. It's his favorite thing. It's his favorite thing. He plays so much Red Dead Redemption on this and GTA and, like, so many violent games on this. Which... Maybe one day I'll try it out. Maybe one day, uh, but not today. So, uh, yeah. So that's the Xbox One. This and I'll yeah, I bought this one by myself as well. So I've bought two consoles by myself, but pretty much all the rest were be my parents bought. So, uh, yeah. Moving on to my final console is the Nintendo Switch. And yes, don't worry, it still works, and I still play on it. I still play on it. I, I, I really do. I still play on it. I play this thing a lot. This is probably my favorite console. Uh, but yeah, I play on this thing a lot. Uh, there's a few games on here that I still have yet to beat. I need to beat Paper Mario. I'm like on the final streamer. I bought paper that Paper Mario game like legit on opening day when my sister got it for me for my birthday. Uh... And I, I got it on opening day. It was like a month before my birthday. She said it was an early birthday present. So, and I've had the, the game's been out for nearly two years and I've still yet to beat it. And what's crazy about that day is my sister and I, we went to go buy the Paper Mario game from GameStop. And, at, and apparently... When we bought the game, it was like $60. $60. And, uh... My sister, she wanted to get some Joy-Cons as well. And apparently... Uh... GameStop didn't have the game... game the game con... The Joy-Cons that she wanted. So, uh, she went to Walmart to get her Joy-Cons. Because Walmart and GameStop, they're just like not... They're they're cl pretty close to each other here. They're They're close to each other. Like, really close to each other. Like, it's, like, a five-second drive to Walmart to GameStop. And, uh, when we went to Walmart, we found out that wh where, when we paid $60 for the Paper Mario game at GameStop, they actually was selling the Paper Mario game for $50 at Walmart. And apparently, we found out that if you buy... Video games at Walmart when they on their on their exact release day, Walmart gives you, I mean, lets you buy the video game for ten dollars off. Like I did not know that at all. I did not know that. So if we would have bought that Paper Mario game at Walmart instead of GameStop, my sister would have saved ten dollars. I mean, yeah, it's not a lot, but still, fifty dollars for a video game. That's actually. I mean, especially for a Mario game, that's actually kind of, that's actually kind of cheap. So, uh, yeah. But, but I think I'm getting into the video right here. Uh, hope you guys like my video game console collection. I hope, hopefully I get to add to this thing, add to this collection someday soon. When I get older and, uh, hopefully become, act become successful and, Get some money, get some good amount of money. I want to buy myself a PlayStation 5 and possibly buy some old retro consoles as well, just to get some nostalgia and uh, play some old video games. So, uh, yeah. 
I'm getting the video right here. And uh, comment down below. Tell me which one is your favorite. I think my, my favorite's right here, the Nintendo Switch. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Love you all, and I'll see you guys next time.